Welcome to video 30, mixed and improper fractions. Mixed and improper fractions, what are they? Right, quickly recap, top of the fractions the numerator, bottom of the fractions the denominator. Numerator, how many pieces we're looking at? Denominator, how many pieces make a whole? When we have an improper fraction, it's when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So, for example, if I had seven thirds, you can see here my numerator is bigger than my denominator, and we call that an improper fraction. Um, a long time ago, in the olden days, they used to call them top-heavy fractions. We don't call them that anymore. We call them improper fractions. I'm just going to put here improper fractions. We can actually turn improper fractions into mixed fractions or mixed number fractions. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So here, I'm going to use my visual representation. I'm going to have one whole. I'm going to cut it, cut it into three pieces. Now I'm looking at seven pieces. So here I've got one, two, three. Okay, so I've already filled up one hole. I'm going to need to draw another hole. Cut that into three pieces. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Still got one more numerator to look at. So again, I need to draw out one more hole, cut it into three pieces, and seven. So my mixed number fraction, my improper fraction is seven thirds. My mixed number fraction is two holes and one third. You can see here that I've got two holes from it and one third. Now a quicker way of doing it without seeing the visual representation is to think, okay, so three thirds is the same as one. Sorry, I'm messing up all of my symbols. So six thirds, double that, is the same as two holes. But I've got seven thirds, so I'd have one more third left over. And that's what I've got there. So, one more quick example without me doing the um, visual representation. We'll come over here. We'll have a look at... Um, eight fifths. This is an improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So I know that five fifths would be one whole. Ten fifths would be two holes. We don't have ten. We have something smaller than that. So five fifths is one whole. That's what we've got. One whole. Five fifths, six fifths, seven fifths, eight fifths, we've got three fifths left over. All right, now if you understand all of uh, the visual representation that we've just looked at, you can do it in more of a calculation based way, but I wouldn't suggest you do this unless you do understand the knowledge that Mrs. Williams has just shown you before. Here we have seven thirds, the same way as we were looking at as an improper fraction. And what I can do is if I divide my numerator by my denominator, it will tell me how many holes I have and what I've got left over. So here I've got seven divided by three. I can write this out. Seven divided by three. How many times does three go into seven? Well, we know that goes in there twice. And I have one left over. Now, I'm not gonna go into decimals because I don't need to. I'm not working out the decimal version of it. So here I have my whole because that's what it's out of. So it equals two. And my remainder is part of my fraction because as we said, a remainder is smaller than whatever's left. So here it's one out of the three that I started. So that's one third. Same answer, just a different way of working it out. All right, so if we're looking at this the other way around, here is a mixed fraction. We have a mixed fraction because we have three holes and one quarter. So it is mixed between a whole number and a fraction. And if I was drawing that out visually, uh, 
uh, I can use three whole squares and I need one because of the quarter and I'm going to split them all into quarters because actually the fraction that we're looking at is a quarter. So if I'm colouring them in, I've got three whole ones. And one quarter, so that one is linked in. Just to clarify, again, we cut them into fours because our fraction is four. So, if we're converting this into an improper fraction, I can then, if I've drawn it out visually, I can count how many sections of four I've got. My denominator isn't going to change because it's still out of four. It's never going to change from that. We're still looking at those four sections. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of those sections. So my numerator, I have thirteen fours. If uh, you don't want to draw them out and you want to do it uh, mathematically using calculations. I can use these numbers again. I'm going to stick with the fours. We can't change our denominator, but we can use our denominator with our whole numbers. Because technically speaking, as we do with the visuals, I had three lots of four because I had those three squares there, and then I had the one a little bit left over. So three times four is 12, add the one equals 13. And that is how I can turn a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. Right, it's time for you to have a go. We have an improper fraction and a mixed fraction. So an improper fraction, 18 fifths, we need to convert it to a mixed fraction, either by drawing it or by using our division method. And over here, we need to have our mixed fraction, we need to convert into an improper fraction, again, either drawing it out or by using our multiplication method and then adding on our numerator. Right, so, I'm going to use calculation methods. So, 18 fifths, how many times does 18 go into, sorry, how many times does 5 go into 18? So I'm going to need to do 18 divided by 5. Uh, I may need to use my method, or I could count up by using my 5 times table. 1, I know it won't go into that, I carry it over. 5 into 18, 5, 10, 15, that's 3 times. And then with my leftover, my remainder is 3 as well. 15, 16, 17, 18, I have 3. So 3 remainder 3 is my answer. So if I'm writing this as a mixed fraction, I have 3 whole and 3 because of my numerator, fifths because my denominator doesn't change. So. 18 fifths becomes three, fi three and three fifths. And here, when I'm looking at my mixed fraction, I have four and three fifths. I have to multiply these together. So five multiplied by four equals 20. I'm just writing this here, just so I remember. And then I have to add my numerator on, which equals 23. So here, I know I have 23 fifths in total. Okay, so Mr. Slay showed you how he's mathematically worked that out. We're going to check it using our visual representation. So we're going to turn this improper fraction into a mixed number fraction. So working in fifths, our holes have to be split up into fifths. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got five. I'm going to colour in 18, remember? Five. Oh, wrong one. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen. That's terrible. Sorry. So we're up to fifteen. 16, 17, 18. So just as Mr. Slay's did, we've got three holes, so that was correct, and three fifths. Moving over into turning our mixed number fraction into an improper fraction, I've got four holes. 
One, two, three, four. And I'm going to cut each of those up into five. Two, three, four, five. And then I've got three fifths as well. So I've got those four holes, five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. Just the same as Mr. Slay did. I did four lots of five, one, two, three, four lots of five, and then added those three on. add our improper and mixed fraction understanding to our number uh, mind map. So we're going to go up to where we have fractions and we're going to go up to here and I'm going to put mixed and improper fractions Improper fractions is when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And we used our understanding of drawing out fractions to help us. We also used some multiplication and division to help us work that out. So, mm, here we go. I'm going to come through here and onto this multiplication line. And I'm going here to our division line to show that we use that understanding to help us work it out. 